The Andronovo culture is a collection of similar local Bronze Age cultures that flourished c. 2000 to 900 BC in western Siberia and the central Eurasian steppe. Some researchers have preferred to term it an archaeological complex or archaeological horizon. The older Sintashta culture BC, formerly included within the Andronovo culture, is now considered separately, but regarded as its predecessor, and accepted as part of the wider Andronovo horizon. Most researchers associate the Andronovo horizon with early Indo-Iranian languages, though it may have overlapped the early Uralic-speaking area at its northern fringe. According to genetic study conducted by Alan Toft et al. 2015, the Andronovo culture and the preceding Sintashta culture are partially derived from the Corded Ware culture, given the higher proportion of ancestry matching the earlier farmers of Europe, similar to the admixture found in the genomes of the Corded Ware population. Discovery The name derives from the village of Andronovo, Krasnoyarsk Krai 55 degrees 53 and 55 degrees 42 e, where the Russian archaeologist Arkady Tugaranov discovered its first remains in 1914. Several graves were discovered, with skeletons in crouched positions, buried with richly decorated pottery. The Andronovo culture was first identified by the Russian archaeologist Sergei Teplukov in the 1920s. <inaudible> Subcultures At least four subcultures of the Andronovo horizon have been distinguished, during which the culture expands towards the south and the east. Sintashta Petrovka Arkham, Southern Urals, Northern Kazakhstan, 2200-1600 BC. The Sintashta fortification of c. 1800 BC in Chelyabinsk Oblast The Petrovka settlement fortified settlement in Kazakhstan The nearby Arkham settlement dated to the 17th century BC Alakul BC between Oxus and Jaxartes, Kaizilkum Desert Alekievka 1300-1100 BC Final Bronze in eastern Kazakhstan, contacts with Namazga V in Turkmena Ingala Valley in the south of the Tumen Oblast Fedorovo 1500 BC in southern Siberia earliest evidence of cremation and fire cult Beshkent Vash 1000 to 800 BC Topic Geographic extent The geographical extent of the culture is vast and difficult to delineate exactly. On its western fringes, it overlaps with the approximately contemporaneous, but distinct, Shrobna culture in the Volga Ural interfluvial. To the east, it reaches into the Minozinsk depression, with some sites as far west as the southern Ural Mountains, overlapping with the area of the earlier Afanasevo culture. Additional sites are scattered as far south as the Kapit Dag Turkmenistan, the Pamir Tajikistan, and the Tian Shan Kyrgyzstan. The northern boundary vaguely corresponds to the beginning of the taiga. In the Volga Basin, interaction with the Shrubna culture was the most intense and prolonged, and Fedorovo-style pottery is found as far west as Volgograd. Mallory notes that the Tasabagyab culture south of Andronovo could be an offshoot of the former or Shrobna, alternatively the result of an amalgamation of steppe cultures and the Central Asian oasis cultures Bishkent culture and Vash culture. In the initial Sintistha Petrovka phase, the Andronovo culture is limited to the northern and western steppes in the southern Urals Kazakhstan. Towards the middle of the second millennium in the Alakul phase 2100-1400 BC, the Fedorovo phase 1400-1200 BC and the final Alekievka phase 1400-1000 BC, the Andronovo cultures begin to move intensively eastwards, expanding as far east as the Upper Yenisei in the Altai Mountains, succeeding the non-Indo-European Okunov culture. In southern Siberia and Kazakhstan, the Andronovo culture was succeeded by the Karasuk culture 1500-800 BC. On its western border, it is succeeded by the Shrubna culture, which partly derives from the Abyshevo culture. 
The earliest historical peoples associated with the area are the Cimmerians and Saka, Scythians, appearing in Assyrian records after the decline of the Alekievka culture, migrating into Ukraine from ca. the 9th century BC see also Ukrainian stone stela, and across the Caucasus into Anatolia and Assyria in the late 8th century BC, and possibly also west into Europe as the Thracians see Thraco Cimmerian, and the Sigonae, located by Herodotus beyond the Danube, north of the Thracians, and by Strabo near the Caspian Sea. Both Herodotus and Strabo identify them as Iranian. Topic: <laughs> Characteristics. The Andronovo culture consisted of both communities that were largely mobile as well as those settled in small villages. Settlements are especially pronounced in its Central Asian parts. Fortifications include ditches, earthen banks as well as timber palisades, of which an estimated 20 have been discovered. Andronovo villages typically contain around 2 to 20 houses, but settlements containing as much as a hundred houses have been discovered. Andronovo houses were generally constructed from pine, cedar, or birch, and were usually aligned overlooking the banks of rivers. Larger homes range in the size from 80 to 300 sqm, and probably belonged to extended families, a typical feature among early Indo-Iranians. Andronovo livestock included cattle, horses, sheep, goats and camels. The domestic pig is notably absent, which is typical of a mobile economy. The percentage of cattle among Andronovo remains are significantly higher than among their western Shrubna neighbors. The horse was represented on Andronovo sites and was used for both riding and traction. Agriculture also played an important role in the Andronovo economy. The Andronovo culture is notable for regional advances in metallurgy. They mined deposits of copper ore in the Altai Mountains from around the 14th century BC. Bronze objects were numerous, and workshops existed for working copper. The Andronovo dead were buried in timber or stone chambers under both round and rectangular kurgans. Tumuli. Burials were accompanied by livestock, wheeled vehicles, cheek pieces for horses, and weapons, ceramics, and ornaments. Among the most notable remains are the burials of chariots, dating from around 2000 BC and possibly earlier. The chariots are found with paired horse teams, and the ritual burial of the horse in a head and hooves cult has also been found. Some Andronovo dead were buried in pairs, of adults or adult and child, at Kitmanovo in Russia between Mongolia and Kazakhstan, dated 1746-1626 BC. A strain of Yersinia pestis was extracted from a dead woman's tooth in a grave common to her and to two children. This strain's genes express flagellin, which triggers the human immune response. However, by contrast with other prehistoric Yersinia pestis bacteria, the strain is so weakly. Later, historic plague does not express flagellin at all, accounting for its virulence. The Kitmanovo strain was therefore under selection toward becoming a plague, although it was not the plague. The three people in that grave all died at the same time, and the researcher believes that this para plague is what killed them. Soma may have originated in the Andronovo culture. Topic. Ethnolinguistic affiliation A large group of scholars associate the Andronovo culture with the Indo-Iranians, it was furthermore credited with the invention of the spoke-wheeled chariot around 2000 BC. The association between the Andronovo culture and the Indo-Iranians is corroborated by the distribution of Iranian place names across the Andronovo horizon and by the historical evidence of dominance by various Iranian peoples, including Saka Scythians, Sarmatians and Alans, throughout the Andronovo horizon during the first millennium BC, Sintashta on the upper Ural River, noted for its chariot burials and kurgans containing horse burials, is considered the type site of the Sintashta culture, forming one of the earliest parts of the Andronovo horizon. Horizon. It is conjectured that the language spoken was still in the Proto Indo Iranian stage. Comparisons between the archaeological evidence of the Andronovo and textual evidence of Indo Iranians, i.e., the Vedas and the Avesta, are frequently made to support the Indo Iranian identity of the Andronovo. The modern explanations for the Indo Iranianization of Greater Iran and the Indian subcontinent rely heavily on the supposition that the Andronovo expanded southwards into Central Asia or at least achieved linguistic dominance across the Bronze Age urban centers of the region, such as the Bactria Margiana archaeological complex. 
While the earliest phases of the Andronovo culture are regarded as coordinate with the late period of Indo-Iranian linguistic unity, it is likely that in the later period they constituted a branch of the Iranians. The identification of Andronovo as Indo-Iranian has been challenged by scholars who point to the absence of the characteristic timber graves of the steppe south of the Oxus River. Sarianidi states that direct archaeological data from Bactria and Margiana show without any shade of doubt that Andronovo tribes penetrated to a minimum extent into Bactria and Marjanian oases. Based on its use by Indo-Aryans in Mitanni and Vedic India, its prior absence in the Near East in Harappan India, and its 16th-17th century BC attestation at the Andronovo site of Sintashta, Kuzmina 1994, argues that the chariot corroborates the identification of Andronovo as Indo-Iranian. Klein and Brentges find the Andronovo culture much too late for an Indo-Iranian identification since chariot-using Aryans appear in Mitanni by the 15th to 16th century BC. However, Anthony and Vinogradov dated a chariot burial at Krivoy Lake to around 2000 BC. Eugene Helemsky has suggested that the Andronovo people spoke a separate branch of the Indo-Iranian group of languages. He claims that borrowings in the Finno-Ugric languages support this view. Vladimir Napolsky has proposed that borrowings in Finno-Ugric indicate that the language was specifically of the Indo-Aryan type, since older forms of Indo-Iranian words have been taken over in Uralic and proto unisaean occupation by some other languages also lost ones cannot be ruled out altogether, at least for part of the Andronovo area, i. e. Uralic and Unisaean. Topic genetics and physical anthropology The Andronovo have been described by archaeologists as exhibiting pronounced Caucasoid features. A 2004 study also established that, during the Bronze and Iron Age period, the majority of the population of Kazakhstan part of the Andronovo culture during Bronze Age was of West Eurasian origin with mtDNA haplogroups such as U, H, HV, T, I and W, and that prior to the 13th to 7th century BC, all Kazakh samples belonged to European lineages. Other studies confirm that during Bronze Age in areas to the north of present-day China, the boundary between Caucasoid and Mongoloid populations was on the eastern slopes of the Altai, in western Mongolia. Some Caucasoid influence extended also into northeast Mongolia, and the population of present-day Kazakhstan was Caucasoid during the Bronze and Iron Age period. Archaeological investigations likewise suggest that in the steppe region of Central Asia and the Altai Mountains, the first food production began towards the end of the 3rd millennium BC and that the peoples who first entered this region were Caucasoid of the Afanasevo culture who came from the Aral Sea area In 2009, a genetic study of ancient Siberian cultures, the Andronovo culture, the Karasuk culture, the Tagar culture and the Tashtuk culture, was published in Human Genetics. Ten individuals of the Andronovo horizon in southern Siberia from 1400 BC to 1000 BC were surveyed. Extractions of mtDNA from nine individuals were determined to represent two samples of haplogroup U4 and single samples of Z1, T1, U2E, T4, H, K2B and U5A1. Extractions of Y-DNA from one individual was determined to belong to Y-DNA haplogroup C but not C3, while the other two extractions were determined to belong to haplogroup R1A1A, which is thought to mark the eastward migration of the early Indo-Europeans. Of the individuals surveyed, only two or 22% were determined to be Mongoloid, while seven or 78% were determined to be Caucasoid, with the majority being light-skinned with predominant brown or black hair and dark or green eyes. In June 2015, another genetic study surveyed one additional male and three female individuals of Andronovo culture. Extraction of Y-DNA from this individual was determined to belong to R1A1A1B2A2Z93, clade Z2121. Extractions of mtDNA were determined to represent two samples of U4 and two samples of U2E. Topic see also topic References topic Citations topic Sources Anthony, David, Vinogradov, Nikolai 1995, Birth of the Chariot, Archaeology, 48 pp. 36-41. Beckwith, Christopher the I the 16th of March 2009. Empires of the Silk Road, A History of Central Eurasia from the Bronze Age to the Present. Princeton University Press. ISBN 0691135894. Retrieved 30 May 2015.
Bryant, Edwin 2001, The Quest for the Origins of Vedic Culture, The Indo-Aryan Migration Debate, Oxford University Press, ISBN 0-19-513777-9. Diakonov, Igor M. 1995, Two Recent Studies of Indo-Iranian Origins, Journal of the American Oriental Society, 115 473–477, doi, 10.2307, 606224. Fussman, G., Kellens, J., Frankfurt, H. P., Tremblay, X., Arias, Ahrens et Iraniens NAC Centrale, 2005, Institut Civilization Indienne ISBN 2 86803 072 6. Jones Blay, K., Donovich, D. G., E. D. S., Complex Societies of Central Eurasia from the 3rd to the 1st Millennium BC, 2 vols, J. I. E. S. Monograph Series Nos, 45, 46, Washington, D.C., 2000. 2002, ISBN 0 941694 83 6, ISBN 0 941694 86 0. Kuzumina, E. E. Atkuta Prisli Indri. Whence Came the Indo Aryans, Moscow, Rosijska Akademia Nauk Russian Academy of Sciences. Mallory, J. P. In Search of the Indo Europeans Language, Archaeology, and Myth. Thames and Hudson. ISBN 0500052X. Retrieved February 14, 2015. Mallory, J. P. Encyclopedia of Indo-European Culture. Taylor and Francis. ISBN 1884964982. Hudson, J. P. 2015. Mallory, J. P. Mayer, Victor H. The Tarim Mummies, Ancient China and the Mystery of the Earliest Peoples from the West. London, Thames and Hudson. ISBN 0-500-05101-1. Topic external links Center for the Study of Eurasian Nomads CSEN. Org. Late Bronze Age Indo-Iranians in Central Asia Sintashta Arkham Culture the Discovery of Sintashta a Russian language article by two archaeologists who directed the excavations. Archaic motifs in North Russian folk embroidery and parallels in ancient ornamental designs of the Eurasian steppe peoples S. Zarnikova Grigoriev, Stanislav 2002. Ancient Indo-Europeans. Chelyabinsk. Rife.